I'm here today with Buzzy Gadould, who is the CEO of Cougar Capital. And Buzzy, really appreciate you taking the time today uh, and inviting me over. Um, what I really like to do when I start my show is to learn a little bit about where somebody grew up. And I know you grew up in Brooklyn, so I'd love to hear a little bit more about that. You know, Brooklyn was uh, the greatest place to grow up when I was, when I was a kid. Uh, it was a middle class neighborhood. Uh, people worked five, six days a week just to pay off a mortgage. There was no such thing as getting an equity loan on your house. The whole deal was pay off the mortgage so that the house was yours. Family values, before anyone knew what the word family values meant, that's what places like Brooklyn were all about. My brother uh, in the early 60s worked in Wall Street and uh, he was my hero, so I naturally followed him. He got me a job in the back office of a small firm called D.L. Capis at the time. I was laid off because I was last in, so first out. Uh, things in the early 60s were not great on Wall Street. I got a job at a firm called Schwabacher, as what they called a junior trader, which really meant I just got quotes. And about six months later, got laid off again, last in, first out. And then you uh, ended up opening up a donut shop. My brother and I opened up eight stores. Uh, I wasn't smart enough to even know what the franchise was, so we just built them and sold them as quickly as we could. Uh, my brother had left Wall Street to be in the donut business with me. Wall Street, he couldn't make a living. Mm -hmm. And uh, late 60s, 68-ish, my brother decides to go back to Wall Street. Things are getting better. Uh, I went in the Army Reserves at the time. We sold off all the stores except one, which I still have. And uh, I would bake in the mornings and come down to his office, sit next to him, and post his positions. In those days, you had a, there were no computers, obviously. And after a few months, uh, John Herzog, who was then running the firm, offered me a job, $50 a week. And uh, my deal with him was if I could become a partner in a year, I'd stay. And if not, I'm going back to open donut shops. And what do you think makes a great trader? Growing up in Brooklyn didn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Street instincts are probably the most important part. Mm -hmm. But those were the days long before quants, computers, etc. What have been some of the major changes that you've seen over the years? Becoming computerized was probably the biggest thing that happened. And Wall Street, although raising all of the money for all of the big computer firms, was one of the last industries to go to computers. Uh, you know, back in the in the seventies, you had so many firms going out of business because of back office problems. In fact, Wall Street was the only industry I know where they actually closed one day a week to catch up on back office issues. Right. So uh, biggest change was computerization. You know, in, in effect, we gave people the ability to press a button, get an instant execution within three or four seconds on the inside market. That changed the world. It changed everything. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about um, government regulation that's coming down the pike? I've always thought that government regulation was not necessarily uh, enhanced or intelligent regulation. It seems the SEC is generally trying to play catch up as opposed to being ahead of the curve. And enlightened regulation, that helps everybody. But it's very rare that we get enlightened regulation. And I think the more regulation you get down the, the pike, uh, the worse it is for the public as well as the people in the industry. Because you, you want to have markets that are free. You also want to have markets where they're not going to have problems like we had in, in 08. Now, all of that could have been prevented. We had plenty of regulators, but again, the regulators were not doing the job they should do. Buzzy, in 2000, I guess you sold your firm, uh, Herzog, Hein, Geduld, uh, to Merrill Lynch, and then you started up uh, Cougar Capital after that? Yes. I got you. And, and so do you have the exact same business model today that you had before? We're not a brokerage firm. Okay. That's all we do is invest. Uh, so this is basically a family office within the office is something called Cougar Capital, which is a mini hedge fund. We predominantly equities, long, short, but no outside money, just my family's money. Buzzy, Donuts, Wall Street, Wall Street Donuts. Did Donuts help you as a person develop uh, your, your skill set? Donuts taught me how to run a business. Running a donut shop is no different than running a brokerage firm. You've got clients, they want, a, they want service, they want good product. Brokerage firm, you've got clients, they want good service, they want to feel that you really care about them, you're taking care of them. So I learned that from the donut business, how to run a brokerage firm. 
Gaia. Are you still involved at all with the donut business? Yeah, I go there every Saturday morning, have a cup of coffee, do a critique with uh, my partner who runs it uh, about the, you know, the icing may not be shiny enough or do we have a new product we can think about bringing out. So, In terms of recruiting, uh, you've been in this game for a long time. You've hired a lot of people. You've seen a lot of people. What do you look for? I want somebody that's smart, hungry, not spoiled. Someone that comes in and actually says, you know, I'll work 15, 18, 20 hours a day. Just give me a shot. I'll mop floors. I just want an opportunity to learn. That's the kind of person that I want. I'm not impressed by fancy schools. It doesn't matter to me. You could be smart and go to Brooklyn College. It doesn't matter. Uh, we have an analyst here I always talk about. Her parents come from Columbia. She's first generation. Went to Baruch at night, worked during the day. Got her MBA at Fordham at night, worked during the day. And, uh, you know, she lives it, breathes it, and eats it. That's the kind of person uh, that I like to have. What sort of advice would you give kids graduating in 2015? Find something that you've got a passion for. And if you find that, I've been fortunate. I had a passion for donuts and I had a passion for, for uh, finance. If you find something you're really passionate about and you love it, It'll never be work. You can work six, seven days a week, 15 hours a day. It'll never feel like you're working. It's like a hobby. And remember, it's not where you end up, where you sell a business and, oh, my God, this was a wonderful success. It's the journey, and, and you've got to enjoy that journey. That's the best part of it is the beginning all the way through to the end. So passion and enjoy the journey. Again, I'm here with Buzzy Gadold, who is the CEO of Cougar Capital. Buzzy, cannot thank you enough. Really appreciate your taking the time. My pleasure. Thank you.